Yes, good afternoon viewers. Um, welcome to this um, show, Engagement, where we'll be talking about the ease of doing business in Uganda. Uh, of course, from the perspective of business registration and formalization. And uh, this talk show is brought to you by Uganda Registration Services Bureau. I'm Charles Boyd, your host this afternoon. And in the studio today, we are privileged to have uh, the chairman, Ease of Doing Business Committee of Uganda Registration Services Bureau, Mr. Andrew Bakiza. You're most welcome to the show, Andrew. Thank you. Good evening, viewers. And thank you. Now, um, very fast, Andrew. Um, I know this is a very, very important um, uh, aspect of business, the area where you sit. I know probably some of our viewers may not know how important this is. But just to give it a bit of context, uh, every year the World Bank comes up with a report, the Ease of Doing Business report. And uh, that report generally talks about how easy uh, it is for someone to establish a business in a particular economy or jurisdictions, jurisdiction. And it has a huge bearing on how investors that are keen on investing in a particular country uh, you know, um, perceive that economy. So it's that important. It can bring investors, it can chase away investors. But then also, most importantly for the natives, it is very, very important for you to formalize your operations. And it all sits with Ghana Registration Services Bureau, where Andrew comes from. But most importantly, that committee chairs. So Andrew, for starters, um, give us a digest. What do you do exactly? What does this committee do? Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, viewers. Uh, as I as you already introduced, I'm Andrew Bajiza. I'm the chairman of doing business. Uh, this is a, a committee which looks mainly at uh, reforms uh, that we do in order to improve our do business here. Uh, it mainly looks at uh, uh, one uh, reduction on the cost of doing a business, uh, improve the speed of service delivery. Uh, when providing uh, uh, services to the entrepreneur or the business person, uh, or the, the cost uh, incurred in, in doing that, the steps taken. Now, uh, one of the areas, that we, of course, we look at is the uh, formalization of business. There are so many other areas uh, which are assessed. The World Bank uh, has a, a criteria of assessment. It looks at uh, uh, 10 indicators. Uh, these indicators, uh, mainly, or possibly if I could mention them, uh, among others, we have the starting a business, we have construction, uh, dealing with construction permits, with the, uh, access to electricity, uh, registering property, we have uh, uh, protection of minority shareholders, we have access to credit, we have paying tax, we have uh, trading acro across borders, and resolving insolvencies. Mm -hmm. uh, this committee, which I chair, looks at four of the ten indicators. Okay. Specifically, uh, it looks at uh, starting a business. Mm. It looks at uh, access to credit. Mm. Uh, it looks at uh, protection of my minority shareholders. And it also lo looks at uh, resolving in services. Mm. Uh, it has a, a, a number of institutions. Uh, among others, the Uganda Registration Services Bureau. Mm. Uh, we have Uganda Revenue Authority. We have uh, KCCA, we have uh, Minister of Local Government, mm -hmm. we have NSSF, and we have NERA. Yeah. That is the, uh, the institution which constitutes that committee which I do chair. Uh, so the committee looks at the synergies and relationship and collaboration within those institutions and see how we work hand in hand to ease uh, the doing business. So we carry out reforms. Some reforms are uh, in one, one institution. Other reforms are cross-cutting, uh, 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 cross-cutting within those, uh, those six those institutions, those institutions. Uh, in order to uh, improve the doing business. I hear you. Now, let's look at URSB specifically. I understand that uh, the World Bank, you know, gave us support um, through URSB to, among others, um, you know, support the automation of um, the registration processes, checking, and all that kind of thing. Give us a bit of, um, you know, a digest of what that support entails and to what end was yeah. it extended? Yes, the World Bank uh, has been supporting ULSB through a project called CEDP, mm -hmm. the Competitiveness and Enterprise Development Project. Yeah. Uh, it's meant, again, as uh, the word goes, uh, the competitiveness 
uh, in uh, uh, doing business uh, for Uganda. So specifically in the USB, they look at uh, one of the major things is automation. As everyone may be aware, uh, USB uh, some time back had challenges on uh, the speed of service delivery because of the manual system. We have so far done uh, what I would call basic automation. Uh, for example, we have digitized all records. Uh, all records in a business registry are uh, digitized right now, meaning that you can now give an electronic copy of any record we have. Mm. Uh, however, we are yet to automate uh, the service side. We only have a few services online. One of them is uh, uh, the search. So you, if you need to know if your company exists, you can go to our website, mm. uh, the URSB website, and you'll be able to uh, check and you know that this company exists. Mm. However, the direction is to automate all services. Right now, as I already said, one of the services is such. We also have the uh, online uh, filing for annual returns. That service is also available uh, online. Uh, but some services like, say, uh, submission for registration of companies are not yet online. Mm -hmm. The World Bank, again, uh, is in the process of supporting us in that. There is a procurement ongoing, again, supported by World Bank. Uh, when that procurement is done, we expect to have all URSB services to the public online. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we believe that possibly by the end of this year, that should uh, have uh, been done. And uh, that system, not only will it give uh, uh, services of URSB online, actually, uh, it also provides for these other entities I've talked uh, about. For example, uh, it's uh, agreed that uh, when the system is up and running, uh, you no need to go to UR, uh, URA to register for the TIN mm. if you are a company. Mm. Uh, when we register, we capture the information, pass it over to URA. URA provides the TIN. When you finish registering your company, you should be having a TIN. That removes the burden from the client from first going to URA. Uh, after he has registered with, with the URSB. And this also cuts across to KCCA uh, for COIN and also for Mr. Government for the, uh, also they have the COIN, which is the, the customer identification number. I hear you, Andrew. Now, I know one of the motivations for this is also to cut the time yes. that people spend or businesses take to register. Um, today, if you to look at um, what has been achieved so far in that regard, where were we before in terms of the time taken by businesses to come, you know, start the process and then comp up to the time they complete it? And where are we today? How okay. much time have we cut? Uh, originally, of course, uh, I don't have uh, the timing right, but uh, originally we used to register a company in uh, three weeks. Okay. Uh, we kept reducing them to days. Uh, right now, we will just uh, a business, uh, uh, we incorporate a company within hours. Okay. Specifically, we expect in four hours the company to have come out. Mm. Uh, so we are striving now to take that online. We expect that now to be instant. Okay. Of course, registration of the company has other supporting or related services. For example, you need to pay. Mm. So whereas the submission and registration could be online, we also have to make sure we work the, the, again with the collaborating agencies yes. like URA mm. to make sure that payment is also it's online. Also done. Because so now with mobile money and everything. Exactly. Yes. So we expect someone, you sit at the comfort of your office, your home, mm. uh, you'll be able to pay online using your mobile money, mm. register the company. And this also applies to other services, for example, submission of... Uh, uh, annual returns, you should be able to do that. Submission of your resolutions, you should be able to do that. So we have uh, cut the time uh, from days to hours uh, in that, and more so in the, uh, some other areas. Uh, possibly you m may be aware that we have also made it easy, like as I sa say such, meaning that you can submit your name or request, which name you want to use on your company, again, online. And right now, it is an instant service. Okay. So it's, a, a, it's not like you go originally, you'd come, mm -hmm. you assess, mm. you pay at the bank, 
you give us uh, uh, you, you give us your name reservation request we reserve and you uh, you, you, you get your name reserved. Right now, we, we removed uh, the procedures of first going to the bank and pay. You come and immediately reserve your name, mm -hmm. meaning that it is an instant service. So when you come to your RSB, immediately mm -hmm. you have your name reserved. So mm -hmm. those are the, some of the areas where we are cut, uh, cut the time taken mm -hmm. for a business person in order to do business. To do business. Another motivation was to attract businesses to formalize. I remember there was, yes. um, I think, a study done, I remember looking at it in 2016, where about 80% of all the businesses we have in Uganda were informal operators, which of course is a big cost to government because it means they cannot be captured anywhere, uh, whether by the taxman or that kind of thing. But now, um, with this project uh, that you're implementing, how much has it helped you in rolling back that number? Yes. Uh, right now, uh, what uh, we did, because of the uh, challenges of formalization of business, uh, there is a program. Uh, it started as a, uh, a project, but now it's a program called the TRIP. The mm -hmm. TRIP is a taxpayer expansion uh, program. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a, uh, has a URSB, of course. It has a URA, has a KCCA, where KCCA is, and has a local government where it is. Uh, it is uh, operating uh, in uh, more than uh, 40 uh, different districts uh, in order to, ex uh, to formalize, uh, to help in formalization of business. Mm -hmm. The idea is that you have one interface, you leave when you have your business formalized, and we come to you to make sure that it is so uh, it's, it's cost effective for you mm. to be able to formalize business. And of course, you start enjoying all uh, benefits of formalization of business. Mm. Of course, you'll be able to access credit because you have a legal entity uh, which uh, is recognized. Uh, of course, you are able to uh, mark out your whatever service you are doing because you are known and you can now brand uh, your, your, your uh, products. So we, uh, we, we, we believe that uh, uh, this program possibly is going even to uh, be much better when we digitalize uh, once again, because whatever we are doing now in a manual process, right. uh, we intend to roll it into uh, online. That's a good thing. How has the business community responded to this, uh, these innovations? Uh, uh, to be honest, there are, it is a very good response because the business were taking the service to them. Uh, of course, we have done so many reforms. Possibly, I could, if you would allow me, I could no talk problem. about some of them. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, some of them, unfortunately, uh, the community may not be aware. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes we come here to inform the community Good. about some of these innovative ideas we are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, in a line of, say, of formalization of the business, one of the challenges we know uh, the entrepreneur faces is the cost of starting a business. Mm -hmm. So registration of a company, uh, one of the areas, the preparation of the documents, uh, that is the memorandum and that cause of association, a number of uh, uh, scenario people would maybe go to the lawyer. Up to now, of course, you can go to the lawyer. But we said for those who may not be able, we uh, 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 came up with a, a reform where we have a single page memorandum and articles of association. Mm. Uh, it's still legal because it references the law mm. instead of copying it and put it on paper. Oh. But, th but that means that you do not have to photocopy uh, 30 pages. You don't have to print 30 pages. Mm. You only have to go to our web page, download that single or one page, fill in and uh, submit. If you are not making a number of modifications, you may not even need a lawyer. If you need uh, maybe some modification on it, possibly you may need a lawyer. So mm. it's not like we are cutting out the lawyers, no. But we are saying for those who may not need, mm. you can go and do that. And that's I was actually going to say that, that uh, <laughs> some of these innovations are killing certain professions. Because <laughs> 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 I know <laughs> lawyers, we are making a killing oh, on... Uh, oh, oh, yes. oh, 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 of, of course... Uh, our idea is that uh, if you are a lawyer, you, you know, you are high end, you should be innovative enough to uh, uh, add value, not simply in the uh, detail of... Because uh, that's clerkship. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so we are mindful of that. Okay. And uh, we work in collaboration with the lawyers, actually, okay. uh, to make sure that uh, 
uh, what we do uh, remains legal and also they are supported in, in, in the process. I hear you. Uh, another area of innovation, uh, of course, uh, we have done. Uh, it's more of a demonstrative measure, but again, it adds uh, a lot of help, which I talked about. Originally, in mm. order for you to register or incorporate a company, you would start by uh, making an assessment in, in, in a bank for name reservation. You pay mm -hmm. for name reservation. You submit to your LSB uh, for name reservation. If your name is approved, you go and prepare your memorandum and articles of association, uh, and then you assess. Uh, again, you go to the bank and you pay, then you submit to us. Now, those are a number of procedures, mm -hmm. specifically the six procedures. Yeah. We said this wastes someone's time. Mm -hmm. So you say, okay, whereas we are not removed, you paying for name reservation. Mm -hmm. You simply come and reserve before you assess and pay to the bank. Mm -hmm. We give you the name. Then you make a single assessment when you are doing the company uh, uh, for company incorporation, including the name reservation, but you already have the name. Okay. You go to the bank once and you submit to us. Mm -hmm. So the idea is to make your life easy uh, by having very few interaction with the bank the or bank. doing assessment. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 that is the, the mindset. The mindset reduce the time someone does the serving, remove the, reduce the procedures mm -hmm. this person uh, passes, uh, passes through and hence make it cost effective for the, for the for the end user. For the, for the end user. Yes. And probably, of course, if you also cut down the number of people someone meets yes. along the way, it also yeah. helps. Because oh, I know oh. some of the business community members have been talking about, you know, every desk you go to, oh, you have oh. to do a thing or two. Oh, of, eh? of, of course, mm. eh, of course, eh, among other areas, we're mindful of uh, those uh, possibly, I think that's the area we have managed uh, reasonably well. Okay. Uh, if you talk to the public, frankly, I will tell you, area of kickback i think we are mm. cut it out mm -hmm. that's why we are put up like a one-stop center uh, i don't know if you have ever visited it mm. it's an open office area okay. and we have all services of those, all those entities we have talked about so yep. URA, kcc local government nssa for land and uh, it's a uh, one area you read and you Realize that government can work as a team. Mm. Uh, we so we we have a pilot sort of project mm. which has been running for uh, two years now. We expect to roll out across, but the the idea is simple. Let a person go to one place. The mm. bank is in the same place. Yep. Your RA is in the same place. Mm. You are in the same place, mm. KCC or local government, whatever service for government you need in that area of say, starting a business, you are getting it in one place. Mm. You reduce on your time, you, you waste to get a service, you, re you reduce your cost of starting a business. I hear you. Yes. I hear you. So any other innovation related to that? Yes. Uh, one, uh, other areas, of course, we are going uh, like planned, as I have already stated. Mm. We have planned that... Uh, one, we reduce unnecessary procedures. Uh, for example, why do you have to submit your data twice to government? You have come to your RSB, you have declared yourself. Yeah. Then you go to your RA, they ask you the same information. Mm. You go to KCCA, they ask you the same information. Oh, you are an individual. Mm. You have gone to NIRA. You have declared your credentials and details mm. about yourself. Yeah. Uh, you go to URA, they are saying bring the same information. Mm. The idea is simple. When you are a registered, say you are a, 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 a non-individual, that is a company, mm. you have submitted your information to URSB. URA should not ask you that information, should pick it from URSB. URSB. It's mm. the same government. Mm. If you have given your information to NIRA and you are an individual, and you need an individual, say, uh, teen, and you go to URA. Mm. URA should not ask you the same information mm. which already NIRA has. Yeah. It picks. So, uh, whereas, of course, that is already an agreed position, the mm. framework in place, the challenge, of course, is the delays in procurement for the systems to be in place. Mm. So, th those are some of the, again, uh, innovations you're, you're going to see. That, that you're looking at. Yeah. When is that coming? Because that is really, really quite helpful. Because, you know, yes. I mean, it's a lot of work. I yes. mean, you go to NIRA, you have to submit almost the same mm -hmm. documents you've submitted this side, you go to URA, it's the same documents you have to submit. I think the business community would really, really, really warm up to that. When are we seeing we, that happening? We, we envisage that uh, by close of the 
calendar yeah, mm. uh, we should be able the system should be in place and we should be able to have implemented mm. because of course you must realize that agencies are implementing in individually much as yeah. we are co uh, uh, collaborating so the, the we are at different levels of technology advancement okay. and uh, such a system to work you need uh, to be well synchronized mm. on uh, technology so some institutions actually already others are uh, uh, in somewhere. the process but we presume we presume well, based on our uh, when we look at the the, the 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 status we are on and what is going on we believe end of calendar mm -hmm. we should be there mm -hmm. to be able to uh, stop providing information twice uh, wh whereas whereas you are working with the, the same government so I, I hear you. specifically in starting uh, in, in starting a business okay uh, of course possibly other areas we are uh, looking at for example of course that is in KCC uh, of course I've talked about for KCC because I'm the chair and KCC sits on the same committee they are part of the process exactly. ease of doing business yes. mm. among others we say we remove pre inspection before you uh, you, 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 you are given uh, the coin and also to, for you to get a, a trading license. Okay. Because instead of putting a barrier on a door for you to enter, let a person enter, mm. you talk to him when he's in. So the idea that don't refuse to give a tag because you have your simple want first visit the premises. The person has brought himself, mm. he has a good will, yeah. he has come to pay yeah. your tax. Yeah. Give him the, the chance to enter. Do post uh, inspection than pre inspection. That removes a number of barriers, and again, to remove the, the other areas you're talking about kickback. Because the moment the barrier is at the door, then someone say first talk something. But if you're entered, then yes. you're good. You're so, in. Yeah, yes. Mm. So again, th those are some of the areas. I think that's a good one. Yes. Because uh, I know some people, I, I think I was talking to some businessmen, and they were telling me, those guys, I think, have still have the old graduated tax mentality of yes. just chasing after the taxpayer. Yeah. and not enticing him to come yes. and then you start to talk business with them but viewers will pick it from here this is uh, uh, a show that is looking at uh, ease of doing business it's a show, a show supported by uganda registration services bureau um, we'll pick the discussion from here after this very short commercial break Dear viewers, welcome back. Uh, it's a show by Uganda Registration Services Bureau, and we are looking at, in broader terms, the ease of doing business. And um, we have tackled the issue of business registration, which is very critical. It's a starting point for businesses. I mean, the first thing you need to have at the back of your mind before you start any business is to formalize operations, because that eases so many things, including access to credit, including um, your relationship with the uh, government which is very critical and then of course with other partners whether local or international um with me in the studios is um, andrew bakiza is the chairman ease of doing business committee uganda registration services bureau very important committee because it is focused on making uh the life of businesses quite quite easy because the idea is you should be able to find it easy to start a business and then also run it now on that note andrew um Access to credit is another aspect you said you're looking at. Yes. You know, among the components you're focusing on in your committee. Um, yes. What is this? What are you looking at in this? Yes. Uh, as I earlier stated, uh, World Bank has a uh, you know, ease of doing business. Uh, it assesses the 190 economies and assesses them in 10 indicators. And okay. one of the indicators is access to credit. Mm -hmm. uh, the area it mainly focuses is uh, uh, trying to see how do you make it easier for someone to access credit? And uh, it uh, does that by, say, make the person giving out the money or the lender comfortable enough to be able to provide the money to whoever is accessing the, the, the uh, credit. Mm. So in this particular area, we have uh, uh, we, uh, URSB handles the what we call a registration of uh, uh, interest uh, in movable property. Mm. Uh, so the the the, inter the, uh, the registration of interest uh, the, in the mobile property is done through uh, a system. It is an electronic system. Mm. Uh, we have just finished the law, so the law on the security interest in the mobile property. 
Uh, immovable or movable? Movable. Movable, movable property. Okay. Mm. Uh, it's, a, it's a new law. Mm. Uh, of course, it repealed an earlier law which was in charters. Uh, but this one is slightly right, uh, more broader mm. than uh, the uh, old law. Uh, the system to operationalize it is also now has, has also gone online. Uh, actually, we didn't perform in this area last year because of that, because the system was not yet up. Mm. Currently, it is up. How it operates mm -hmm. is that uh, uh, in case, for example, uh, I need money in this laptop and uh, I, it, uh, I go to someone who uh, maybe a lend, uh, lender A and say, oh, can you lend me money? I have collateral as my laptop, which is a movable property, mm -hmm. uh, and it gives me possibly a million on that. Then you go to this system, he goes to the system, and first of all, before he gives me money, he checks if this laptop is registered to have another loan attached to it. Mm -hmm. So it gives them comfort that uh, actually this laptop doesn't have any interest registered on it. Mm. Then he registers an interest on it. What does it mean? It means that if this laptop uh, is taken somewhere else and also gets another uh, loan, possibly it is worth five million, he gave me one million, I go to another land, I say I have this laptop, mm. so five uh, worth five million, give me uh, maybe 500. When the five hundred person of five hundred comes and also registers in the system, uh, there will be priority in the sense that if tomorrow I fail to pay, mm -hmm. the lender number one who registered first mm. will take priority to first recover his money from the, uh, this laptop, and then the remaining is cascaded People downwards. Mm. Yes. So that sort of system gives uh, the. The, the, the lend confidence when he's going to lend uh, or provide uh, access to money uh, on uh, using the movable property as security. That's a good one. Now, from the lender's side, if, um, because, I mean, I know most lenders may not want to give you more money. Yes. Yeah, if you've already staked a particular property or asset, yes. you know, elsewhere and probably received the money already. Yes. So, um, is there a system where the lenders can actually search? Because if I give you my money, then I'm able to search and say and see whether there's, there are other e obligations attached. Exactly. One of the services the system provides is search. Okay. So the lender is able to first search and say, "Oh, your laptop, you already have credit or was the one million on it?" Mm -hmm. I say uh, yes. Now it's up upon his discretion and decision. To say okay. Since it's five, was five million, five hundred, I'll give you. Okay. Uh, so it, it, it builds the confidence of the lender mm -hmm. to know what he's doing. So it is a, a matter of transparency. Mm. But by then, by so doing, uh, before you lend on a mobile property, you are so aware, mm. and that makes it easy for you to release the money because yeah. you know. Uh, all the information related. Mm. When such a system not in place, you are not sure if this laptop already has uh, maybe any encumbrance on it, or it has any uh, someone has interest in it mm. or not. Mm. So the, the, that's how the the system works. It's online, 24 by 7. Mm. Registration does not even need uh, URSB actually to do anything. Mm. You pay in a bank, mm. uh, which of course is through URA. Mm. You register and your notice is immediately up and it is protected by the same law. I hear you. Yes. Still protecting the lender. Uh, before, I know most business people don't really want, uh, uh, especially the media, to be so much on the side of the lenders. They want uh, the other way around. But um, if, again, as a way of protecting the interest, because I know banks have been suffering, yes. and actually small lenders uh, in these matters, where someone stakes something and then the following dates, gone, especially the movable mm -hmm. products. So can there be an arrangement where someone can put a caveat or something in the system and say this thing has been staked to us, so all lenders stand mm -hmm. warned or whatever, uh, actually, legal jargon can be used actually, there. Actually, uh, whereas I may not call it a caveat, mm -hmm. but uh, the, the stand warned is exactly that, because okay. it is public information, okay. anyone can search it, and you have put it that I have interest in that laptop. There's a provision for that. 
you, when you register what we say registration of that notice okay. is actually putting in a system that I have interest worth one million in the Andrew Bakiza's laptop, mm. serial numbers, this, this, and that, and that. Mm -hmm. So anyone who also wants to put possibly to, to give money based on that, he is aware mm. that you have interest and the law is clear that you take precedence. Because you declare be, them. Be, be, because you, you declare. First. So the, mm. the idea is to uh, declare information and build the confidence uh, of, of, of the of the lender, of, of to, the give lender the money. to be able to easily give the money. Mm. I like, think that's very like, important. Like the credit uh, reference bureau yes. almost, except yes. that... Uh, uh, for them it is looking at the individuals and the, their accounts. I hear you. Yes. I think it's very important because for purposes of our viewers, um, you know, the, which is the report we are going to discuss, to touch a little, Andrew, uh, yes. the World Bank is of doing business report. Of course, one of the areas where it was faulting us as, uh, you know, not performing well as a country is with access to credit because it was sampling a number of small and medium enterprises especially and most of them were having that as a chorus, that access to credit uh, plus other attachments like the cost of money are really, really a big hindrance to business. So I think it's a, div a, a, a move in the right direction. Yes. Yeah. Anything else uh, in yes. access to credit? Yes. Uh, oh, access to credit uh, right now, I think uh, uh, not much uh, mm. except uh, to, say that, uh, to tell the public mm. that the system is available. Mm. It's online 24 by 7. Uh, it is self or oh, it's automated. This is what we say full automation as i said once again when you register your interest in this laptop you don't wait for a registrar to uh, to approve it the system as long as you have done the right thing is immediately uh, operational so your interest becomes valid there and then it doesn't matter even if it is at three at night mm. you can register an interest in any given uh, mobile property. I hear you. Now, minority shares uh, or yes. shareholders. Yes. Uh, I know that one of the areas you're looking at is protection of the rights yes. of the minority shareholders in these engagements. Yes. Tell us more about that. Yes. Now, again, another indicator which World Bank assesses is minority shareholders, the protection of minority shareholders. Mm. Uh, to make sure that uh, uh, the majority shareholders do not uh, usurp or overstep. Uh, on minority shareholders. So the idea is to uh, uh, I encourage investment even if you are not the majority shareholder mm. and uh, uh, you, 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 you are protected. Now, this is one of the, uh, the uh, regulatory uh, side of the indicators. The indicators which are mainly on procedures mm. and uh, on the cost and time, but there's also which looks at the legal framework. Mm. This specifically looks at the legal framework in, in order trying to protect my minority shareholders. Okay. So we, uh, uh, when we get assessment from World Bank, we pass through which areas did Uganda fail mm. and why. Mm. And uh, as I talk right now, we are actually uh, in the process of amending the company law. Okay. And among other things we want to bring out clearly is a protect, a protection of my, uh, minority, minority shareholders. Mm. So uh, the reforms are legalistic in nature, mm. and uh, of course, uh, you know, it takes a bit of time, mm. uh, but uh, we are on it, and uh, we uh, look forward that uh, uh, possibly, again, uh, uh, the, uh, I don't know how fast uh, the legal reform process goes, but we have commenced it, mm. and we expect that by the time the law is out, this area, Uganda will be performing well. Mm. And of course, uh, whereas uh, we're looking at the World Bank rating, mm. we're also looking at the realities on the ground. On the ground. To make mm. sure that the environment is conducive for minority shareholders also to participate in the business. Who are these minority shareholders that we're talking about? Uh, we're talking about uh, a normal sh sh shareholding uh, generally. Mm. Uh, one area, uh, one area is the, for example, when we, we, we go to uh, the stock market, yeah. where you could go and buy some few shares. Mm. Uh, you don't even know who it is there, mm. uh, but the few shares you have there must be protected. Mm. Uh, it's the one way to uh, encourage investment. Uh, if you say, so money to start, say, a company right now, 
uh, the tenders in Uganda is someone either you, he goes alone, he puts his, his uh, mm. take of his building and mm. get money. But mm. one of the easiest way is through stock exchange. But mm. now to sell stock, the people must have confidence mm. in the system. That when I put my uh, money uh, there, money, however small, however small, I have a say. Exactly. Mm. It is not going to be your sub there. Uh, mm. there. Mm. Uh, of course, there are some areas in the private companies as well, which mm. again uh, will address. Mm. So it's uh, looking at the public companies. Uh, that is the companies which are listed mm. and also uh, the private company. I think that's a good one because I've attended a couple of annual general meetings mm. where, uh, of course, the performance of the company report is presented. And, uh, you know, before a hall full of probably a thousand or two thousand people, and mm. uh, you realize that a couple that own a majority of the company, especially these listed companies, will have decided already uh, yes. how things should move. So the rest is just to just sanctify the thing and then move on. Yes. So I hope all those are uh, catered yes. for in that. Yes, a number of areas. Of course, uh, the majority shareholders also still remain with some reasonable uh, uh, control mm. uh, f to avoid uh, him losing his stake. Mm. Because uh, he has put in the money. Yes, he has put in his money. Mm. But uh, the, the idea is that uh, the majority shareholder should also get a level of protection mm. to make sure that uh, he's comfortable also to put in the little money. Mm. In any case, many, many times we find that most of the uh, people in such a, a public company mm. are the minority sh shareholders. Mm. Uh, there may be three or five people who have so much, but around 10,000 or 1,000. <laughs> General <laughs> happiness. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. How did we fare in the current World Bank doing business report? Yes. Uh, the World Bank business report of 2020. Uh, as a, everyone may be aware, just for purposes of... Uh, uh, appreciating uh, before I talk about the report, mm. uh, the, the report is usually uh, assessed from March to May, okay. and so during this period is assessment, and the report comes in uh, comes out in October. Mm. So uh, I know World Bank goes to correspondence, mm. uh, correspondence, and uh, uh, give them more questions or interviews, uh, appeal to the general public. Uh, kindly uh, uh, trying to find out what reforms are going on yeah. uh, such that uh, you answer the... When you, uh, yes, yes, when they come to yes. for the interviews, yes. yes. Mm. So the report uh, came out to uh, October as usual mm. and uh, uh, we, Uganda improved. Mm. Uh, it, it was one, uh, 127 mm. in 2019. Okay. Currently is uh, uh, 116th, so mm. there was an improvement. Mm. And uh, with uh, uh, specifically in indicators, it improved in uh, dealing with the construction permits, okay. uh, getting electricity, mm. protection of minority uh, uh, shareholders, trading across borders mm. and uh, resolving insolvencies. Mm. Mm. Uh, of those, uh, again, if I go back, four of them, uh, of, of the ten, uh, you uh, are supported by this Doing Business Committee, which I chair, mm. and two of them we improved, that is resolving insolvency mm. and protection of minority shareholders, mm. and two of them we declined, that is getting credit and uh, starting a business. Mm. Uh, specifically getting credit, we declined purely because this law had not come in place. I hear you. Okay, so uh, in whichever way, this year in that in, on that indicator, we, we are going to improve. Mm. Uh, starting a business, we again declined because of the, the, the what you call the online business registration system, which I stated that it is under procurement okay. because the system has not come in place. That is a system which automates all the processes of ULSB in starting a business line and also provision of uh, online services. Mm. Uh, we again uh, think that uh, if all goes well by close of the year, it should, be, uh, should have come uh, in. However, we even then, there are some reforms we have done, even when the system is not there. So we expect again to improve, like uh, where I talked about when we removed some of the procedures within the starting of a uh, business, that is the business registration. So we are optimistic that uh, uh, a, number of, a number of these indicators we should be able to improve. 
Uh, but uh, all in all, uh, it's good this year Uganda improved and we are looking ahead that uh, actually next year should be below 100. We were 115 mm -hmm. uh, as overall as a country, yeah. but uh, we look ahead. Out of how many countries? Uh, they, s they say it's 190 economies yeah. and within 190 economies, uh, we're 116. I hear you. And what be your last word to the business community, especially because yeah. this information is actually important to them. Yes. Yeah. The, the business community, one, uh, we encourage you to take advantage of what we have put in place. So we have made a number of, uh, of reforms. Mm -hmm. Kindly take advantage of them. Secondly, feel free to uh, propose to us or tell us what you think is paining you, what you think is, is holding you back and is not making, uh, making you move. Mm -hmm. We are there to support you, specifically the Doing Business Committee our effort is to say, what can we do for the, uh, for the business person? First of all, to make it easy for the person to do the business, to reduce the turnaround time of receiving services, to reduce the cost of, of him doing, doing the business. How do they get you? Uh, we, 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 of course, we are stationed at ULSB, so I can be good through ULSB, mm. can come to ULSB offices. And you ask for the chairman is of doing business, I'm Andrew Bakiza, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to do that. Even when you call your SB, uh, you should be able to ask again to, to meet me. I'll meet you either on phone or physically or, or on social media. All in all, our effort is trying to help the business person. I hear you. On that note, viewers, we've come to the end of this interface. We've been doing, looking at ease of doing business as um, you know, supported by Uganda Regional Special Services Bureau. We've tackled a number of things, a number of issues, right from registration to managing access to credit, uh, insolvency, minority shareholder protection. Um, but I think one of the take home, if you can forget anything, is the fact that a lot of innovation has taken place at URSB. You can now check a lot of these things online at the comfort of your home or your business and more innovations are still coming uh, with more searches that you can, more services that you can access still online. And it's a very, very important innovation because it brings us to closer to, you know, um, uh, improving or bolstering uh, the doing business environment in Uganda to a level uh, that is desirable for the business community. I've been your host, Charles Woji. Uh, thank you for being with us this evening. Uh, have a good evening.